Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your semi-incredible host. I wanna to touch on something real quick while it's on my mind. Right now I'm watching a YouTuber that I follow, a really cool guy, McBean Scottish Fitness. Uh, he's an older gentleman and uh, uh, watching him, you know, he, he gives people a lot of uh, inspiration. Uh, that's not only his age or older, but a little younger and then a lot younger. Uh, he's a really cool guy, nice. And uh, if you haven't heard of him, McBean Scottish Fitness. I'll leave you a little link in the uh, description down there uh, to his channel. I'm watching him right now and I've made a couple of comments on his video, uh, but I'm watching him right now and, and, I'm, and he went through a, a little, uh, he was saying something about his friend used a lot of salt and uh, I made a video quite some time back now uh, on my other channel, Mikey Sin TV, about my salt problem. And by a salt problem, I mean I was eating millions of milligrams of sodium a year and thousands of milligrams of sodium a day. And I'm talking more than two times more than probably three times uh, the average of what you're supposed to get in a day. So uh, I finally cut out a lot of that. Now I do use hot sauce and I do use soy sauce. I use a light soy sauce and uh, other things that do have sodium in them, but I'm not putting like extra salt on anything and I'm not eating things that are full of salt like pickles, like the way I used to. That's why I have a nickname uh, pickle. Uh, I love pickles. Uh, I adore them. I'm a pickle connoisseur. Not only do I eat pickles, but I drink all the pickle juice. And we're talking thousands and thousands, literally, uh, of milligrams of sodium. And the only time that I have that kind of thing now is whenever I make like a turkey burger or, or I make a regular cheeseburger, whatever it is. And uh, I might put, you know, a handful of pickles on my burger. Otherwise, I'm not eating pickles. Ah, let me let me re say that. I also make a tuna wrap, which may also lead into a tuna sandwich. Wait, you, you know, and once in a while, and literally, really once in a while, like I've only done it a couple times, uh, I might put a couple of pickles on there. Uh, you know, just uh, to give it a little bit of that flavor. But really, I don't eat that stuff ever at all. Uh, there's a pickle out on the shelf called Big Papa. And or Van Holten pickle in a pouch, I, sh I should say. Van Holten pickle in a pouch. If you look at the nutrition label on that, you're gonna see that there's about nine servings in that pickle and it's got about 700 or something milligrams per serving. Plus, I don't know if that includes the juice in the pouch. So I was eating two, three, four, ten of those a week, plus jars of pickles putting salt on the pickles, putting hot sauce on pickles. And uh, let me tell you, that's a lot of sodium and that retains water, that destroys your insides, it scars up your like arteries and whatever, I don't know, it's it's not good. That's, that's a lot of sodium. So uh, my blood pressure's been high. I, I haven't checked all that in a long time. I'm, you know, well I have, but not without medication. I think I can get off all my medication now, but I'm gonna see whenever I go to the doctor uh, for a checkup. I'm pretty certain I can get off all my medication that I've been on for the last 20-ish plus years. Um, guys, it's all about diet. It's all about change. It's all about taking things seriously. Uh, a big thing that people do, and I know this because I was one of those people, is you think, ooh, gross. I don't wanna eat that clean food. I don't wanna eat you know, these foods all the time, every day, but yet you'll eat a cheeseburger and fries every day. You'll eat pizza every day. You'll eat fried chicken every day. You'll eat spaghetti every day. You'll eat, uh, oh, whatever you eat every day, macaroni and cheese and you know, whatever you you eat all these other things every single day. Funny how you don't get too tired of those to eat that every day, but you can't eat something decent every day. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm living proof, proof, I'm a normal guy. And if you knew my diet, if you knew how much I love food, I mean, 
my family's known for food. We're known for eating a lot of food. We love food and we're just known for that. <laughs> and uh, if you, if you could just understand and realize that if I can do it, if I can make this change, everyone can make this change. In 2020, uh, I've said this story before in 2020, I decided, well, I want to start walking or I want to, <clears throat> I want to see if I can jog like I used to. So I went to the high school track and the track is a quarter mile long. And I went out there and I tried to jog and I literally had to, I don't know if I even, I don't know if I made it my first round or if I had to pull myself up uh, around. I don't remember what it was, but it was a horrible experience. It humbled me. It was upsetting. And, uh, so that was, um, summerish, early summer of 2020. And, uh, today at 50 years old in 2022, I can jog two miles. A couple days ago or yesterday or whatever day it was, I done lost, done lost track. But I literally jogged 1.5 tenths of a mile with no problem with a hoodie, a t-shirt, uh, insulated sweatpants, long socks, shoes, hoodie up, this on, a cap on underneath it, a big, thick, heavy jacket, full, full fingered, full everything, uh, insulated gloves. I probably had 30 pounds of clothes on and I jogged almost two miles with well, no problem. All you got to do is make that change, guys. And if you made it to this point in the video, I hope that you hear that. You have to make the change and it can't just be one of those, oh, I'll do it next week or I'll do it Monday or I'll do it New Year's resolution or I'll do this or that. You can't wait till then. You got to do it now. It's that important. You got to do it now. Okay. Do you want to live life or do you want to pull yourself through life on medications and being overweight and watching people have fun and enjoy life while you're sitting there breathing, gasping for air? You know, people talk about, well, you only live once by God. My guy, you only live once. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to actually live once? Wouldn't you like to give yourself that chance once <clears throat> instead of living your life as a young child, having all this fun, and then all of a sudden, pff, downhill? Oh, but my guy, I'm enjoying myself. America, pizza, hot dogs, apple pies, and so on. <clears throat> You're doing it wrong, guys. I'm telling you, as a good old boy from the South who loves food, you're doing it wrong. Now, that's enough of that. <clears throat> any questions, any comments on that? Let me know in the comments. Hit me up. Ask me anything. Talk to me. It's all good. Yesterday, let me talk about this. I had leg day. So I changed things up. Instead of doing two, three different exercises, movements for my legs, I did one movement, and that was with my Titan compact hack press sled and I did 5, 10, 15, I did about 15 or 20 sets. I don't even remember now. I could go look at my paper, but I don't feel like it. You get the idea. And let me tell you, my legs are spent and the reason that I did that is to show you and teach you that you can take one movement per body part and really utilize that movement and get the most out of that movement without having to worry about two, three, four, ten different movements for hitting each body part. Okay? It's good to mix things up. It's good to try new things. And uh, so that's what I did yesterday. And my, my thighs are feeling it. And last week, uh, my hamstrings and all that were feeling it because I did a lot more uh, squats on my Smith machine. Speaking of, today is chest day, and today's chest routine is gonna be one movement, and that's gonna be Smith machine presses, uh, just flat bench. I don't typically do that a whole lot. Uh, yes, I would love to have some free weights, a free uh, 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 half cage, a full cage, uh, just a cheap little old bench, uh, whatever. I don't care. Sure, I'd love to have that again. I don't have it right now, and I also don't have the room. But I am in the market looking for another Smith machine that actually has the option to have the free weight uh, as well. They have those that have both the Smith and uh, the free weight option. So I am looking into that. <clears throat> 
And I love the Smith machine. It's amazing. It's changed my life. It's, it's opened up a whole new door for me with my squats and stuff. So uh, I am going to be doing that and utilizing one movement. And uh, I have a feeling that by the end of my workout, my chest is going to be pumped. And uh, I'll know tomorrow. So uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to kind of fill you in on some of that uh, sodium talk and some of that diet talk and hopefully ch help to change your lives. Okay, I love food like anyone else and I can eat the butt end out of a cow. I mean, I can eat a lot of food, guys, lots. Believe me, people have been like, I can't believe someone can eat that much. I've ate a lot of food. Change your life, it'll, it'll change you. Change your diet, change your life. Lifestyle change, not a fad, not a spur of the moment little weekly little challenge, not P90X, not Richard Simmons, not Jane Fonda, not Nutrisystem or Slim Fast or all these other little fad things. Change your life for real, guys, okay? Real food, if they ate it 500 years ago, eat it, okay? So I'm fixing to get on this chest workout and uh, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope I've inspired you in some sort of way. And uh, again, I'm still finishing up watching uh, watching uh, McBean Scottish Fitness. McBean Scottish Fitness, he's a cool guy. So uh, I'm sorry I forgot your name for a second there. Uh, it's a lot of name to remember. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave a link to his channel down in the description. Go check him out. He's a really cool guy. All right, guys. Inspire daily. Inspire someone along the way. But most importantly, inspire yourself. And don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your semi-incredible host. Yeah. See y'all later. Two ten plus the bar plus the carriage and all friction. Mm, not bad. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it.